Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Fort. And one of the things that we never felt quite comfortable enough to do as a channel was uh, straight up booktuber shout outs because we sort of always had the mindset, uh, you know, who the hell are we? But the more, the more I think about it, the more thought I put into it, I realize that it's not really about who the hell are we? It's about uh, having some sphere of influence upon which to uh, maybe shine a light on somewhere that we haven't thought of trying yet. And so I'm going to do a standard shout out type video. This video is directed towards booktubers who are still at the recording of this video under 200 subscribers. Uh, and the first booktuber I would like to talk about is Cindy from Oodles of Books. Oodles of Books being one word. Uh, Cindy's readership is extremely eclectic. So when you tune in, you're never sure what types of literature you're going to be exposed to. Uh, and this ranges from, say, middle grade all the way through something like Deadpool, uh, which is incredibly impressive to me. Not only that, but she's able to speak in depth on each genre as she goes. And to me, that is the most impressive part. Uh, and this is not an accident. Cindy is someone that you can tell has spent a good deal of effort and has set out to be as multiple a reader as possible. Uh, and it pays dividends for her channels. Next is Rihanna from Rihanna Reads. Um, look, I'm not sure what I was doing when I was Rihanna's age, but I know I wasn't putting together coherent thoughts on books that I had read. Um, and I damn sure wasn't translating that into internet videos, uh, being able to put things up on YouTube. So at her age, it's incredibly impressive uh, what she's able to do. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure that at her age, the most impressive thing that I was able to do with a computer was change fonts. Um, but if you tune into her channel, she has charisma and she's speaking about books in a way that very few kids her age, I'm sure, are. Uh, next is Audrey from Audrey Reads. Audrey's greatest strength is creating content-dense material. Uh, she packs more pop into less real estate than many booktubers who are larger than her, and she does so, she does so in extremely energetic fashion. Uh, next is Julia from Simply Jewels. Julia, Julia is a student, and I don't mean that um, in a condescending fashion, something about her channel that comes across in infectious fashion uh, is she's constantly grasping for knowledge and she's constantly trying to get out of her own comfort zone and she's constantly trying to grow as a reader and as an intellectual and something that I miss from my days as an official student is that type of mentality and so sometimes it's it's nice just to tune in her channel to feel that anew in yourself uh, next is Katie from pumpkin latte lover and though her channel title pumpkin latte lover gives me something like PTSD uh, I want more videos from Katie and it's better that way than the opposite right um, I really enjoy Katie's delivery and thought out approach. This is something I can't quantify. Uh, but when you're, when you listen to her, you know, you're in good hands. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but as a reader, you know that she is an in-depth reader as well. Uh, she doesn't just read books. She's looking deeper into them. Uh, Plus, she seems to have some struggles with Harry Potter, um, and I believe she's on her first read-through of that as well. So, And finally, Let's Talk About Books, baby. Jordan from Let's Talk About Books, baby. I am convinced that the only thing holding Jordy back from uh, being a bigger booktuber is that she does not upload very much. She's high-energy, intelligent, well-spoken. 
She has the looks and technical skills of Big Book of Big Booktube, and she has the personability of smaller channels. Uh, so make more book make more Booktube videos, Jordy, uh, including maybe a male edition of Booktubers who inspire you, because you've got a video of Booktubers who inspire you, and it's all female Booktubers. And if it were the other way around, if it were the other way around, people would be. Uh, would be forced to prod. So that's it. Um, six booktubers who I hope you immediately check out and subscribe. And yes, that is an order.